2 Chronicles 14 So Abi Yahu slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. And Asa his son reigned in his stead. In his days the land was quiet ten years. And Asa did that which was good and right in the eyes of Yahuwah his Elohim. For he took away the altars of the strange gods, and the high places, and brake down the images, and cut down the groves, and commanded Yehuda to seek Yahuwah Elohim of their fathers, and to do the law and the commandment. Also he took away out of all the cities of Yehuda the high places and the images, and the kingdom was quiet before him. And he built fenced cities in Yehuda, for the land had rest, and he had no war in those years, because Yahuwah had given him rest. Therefore he said unto Yehuda, Let us build these cities, and make about them walls, and towers, gates, and bars, while the land is yet before us, because we have sought Yahuwah our Elohim. We have sought him, and he hath given us rest on every side. So they built and prospered. And Asa had an army of men that bare targets and spears out of Yehuda, three hundred thousand, and out of Benjamin that bare shields and drew bows, two hundred and fourscore thousand. All these were mighty men of valor. And there came out against them Zerah the Ethiopian, with a host of a thousand thousand, and three hundred chariots, and came unto Merishah. Then Asa went out against him, and they set the battle in array in the valley of Zephathah at Merishah. And Asa cried unto Yahuwah his Elohim, and said, Yahuwah, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Yahuwah our Elohim, for we rest on thee, and in thy name we go against this multitude. O Yahuwah, thou art our Elohim, let not man prevail against thee. So Yahuwah smote the Ethiopians before Asa, and before Yehuda, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people that were with him pursued them unto Gerar, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, that they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before Yahuwah and before his host, and they carried away very much spoil. And they smote all the cities round about Gerar, for the fear of Yahuwah came upon them, and they spoiled all the cities, for there was exceeding much spoil in them. They smote also the tents of cattle, and carried away sheep and camels in abundance, and returned to Jerusalem.